Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be learning about trig derivatives. In prior videos, we've talked about how the derivative of the sine function is cosine, and the derivative of the cosine function is negative sine. But how do we get the derivatives of the other trig functions? Tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant x. In order to derive these, we need to use the quotient rule or the chain rule. If you need to review these, feel free to watch some of my previous videos. Let's start with the derivative of the tangent function. The first thing we're going to do is rewrite tan x as sine x over cosine x. Then we're going to use the quotient rule. Recall that the easy way to remember the quotient rule is low d high minus high d low over the square of low we go. So in this scenario, we'll start by taking the low function, cosine x, and multiply it by the derivative of the high function, which also gives us cosine x. Then we'll subtract the high function, sine x, and multiply that by the derivative of the low function, which is negative sine x. Then we'll divide all of this by the low function squared, which would give us cosine squared x. Next, notice that the numerator becomes cosine squared x plus sine squared x, which is a trig identity equal to one. So this leaves us with one over cosine squared x, which is equivalent to secant squared x. And we got it. The derivative of tan x is secant squared x. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to use a similar strategy to find the derivative of cotan x. Let's start by rewriting cotan x as cosine x over sine x. Then we'll use the quotient rule. We'll take the low function sine x times the derivative of the high function, which gives us negative sine x, minus the high function cosine x times the derivative of the low function, which also gives us cosine x, all over sine squared x. Then we'll simplify the numerator and we get negative sine squared x minus cosine squared x. Then we'll factor out a negative one from the numerator and you see we have a trig identity up here again. We get sine squared x plus cosine squared x, which is just one. So this reduces to negative one over sine squared x and that can be converted to negative cosecant squared x. So the derivative of cotan x is negative cosecant squared x. Okay, moving on, let's find the derivative of secant x. In order to do this, we're first going to rewrite secant x as one over cosine x. Now we could use the quotient rule to find the derivative, or we could rewrite one over cosine x as cosine x to the negative one power. Now we can just use the chain rule. So applying the chain rule would give us negative cosine x to the minus two power times the derivative of the inside function, cosine x, and that is negative sine x. This reduces to sine x over cosine squared x. Now we're gonna simplify this a little further. I'm gonna rewrite sine x over cosine squared x as sine x over cosine x times cosine x. And I'm going to split that up into one over cosine x times sine over cosine x. And this is equivalent to secant x tan x, and that's our derivative. So add this to your list of trig derivatives. The derivative of secant x is secant x tan x. All right, last one, isn't this fun? Let's find the derivative of cosecant x. Let's start by converting cosecant x to one over sine x, which is equivalent to sine x to the negative one power. Now we can use the chain rule to find the derivative. First, we find the derivative of the outside part, and that gives us negative sine x to the minus two power. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, and the derivative of sine is cosine x. This reduces to negative cosine x over sine squared x. But we'll rewrite this as negative cosine x over sine x times sine x, which is equivalent to negative one over sine x times cosine x over sine x and that's equivalent to negative cosecant x cotan x. And there we have it. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotan x. And here are the six trig derivatives. While it's important to know how to derive these, you're gonna wanna commit them to memory because they show up so often in calculus. A couple patterns to note. Note that all of the co-functions, cosine, cosecant, and cotan, have negative derivatives. Also note that tan x and cotan x are the only functions with derivatives that are squared. 
And finally, note that secant x and cosecant x are the only functions whose derivatives have two different terms. In a future video, we'll look at how to apply these derivatives to example problems. In the meantime, try to commit these to memory. And one thing that may help with this is listening to my trig derivative song. Music is always a great tool that helps us commit ideas to memory. In any case, good brain workout today. You now know the six trig derivatives. And that's how you rock calculus.